Chad Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a 1972 Plymouth Satellite. <laughs> What a sharp looking car. Factory lemon twist yellow, white vinyl top, white interior. Sounds awesome too. This color just immediately pulls you in. This body style of these Mopars, I'm really starting to fall in love with. You know, the 68, 69, 70s have gotten so freaking expensive anymore that uh, this is the next best thing, guys. Yeah, and they're really getting a lot popular, getting a lot more popular. Right? And how about this one? How many of these came with a 400 four barrel? And this is a numbers matching 400 four barrel in this little satellite. That's so, neat. yeah, pretty much a Roadrunner without the Roadrunner crap on it. Air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, uh, lemon twist yellow. I mean, there's not white interior. What more could you ask for? An original uh, paint under the hood too. they like on the inner fenders and in the engine compartment. Factory uh, data tags here. Uh, Shays decoded all that. It's got the stock manifolds on it as well. The only thing that looks like it's been changed out is the uh, intake and carburetor. Yeah, really nice car. I'm really impressed by this. Again, like I said, the only thing that'd make it better if it was a Roadrunner or maybe a GTX, but as far as the color and the drivetrain is, is awesome. I love the 71, 72 front grills and front uh, bumpers. Inside the assembly right here is, is a paint chip right there. I mean, car's not perfect, but you could definitely take it to any local car show and, and win some sort of ribbon or trophy. Yeah. Good looking car. And that color, it's like, we always say, you know, we're not huge on yellows, but there's some yellows that we kind of yeah. really like. This one it, with the with the mix of the white top, white interior, oh, yeah. just grabs your attention. Oh man, if you have a Cuda or a Roadrunner or a GTX or something like this, and this Lemon Twist Yellow Challenger, I mean, it's fantastic. Mopar, in my opinion, has always had the the best, flashiest colors. Yeah, high impact. Yep. Sublime Green, you know, Panther Pink, Plum Crazy Purple. Lemon Whoever Twist was naming yellow. these colors did a hell of a job too. Yeah, they did. Hope they got paid well. And they had a good PR department. They did. A little touch up here. So it needs a couple little touch ups yet. The next owner can do, it's got one right there. But uh, the paint job on this is really nice. I mean, beautiful finish. It's all been buffed out beautifully. Top of the fender matches up beautifully here to the top of the hood. Great gaps. We do have just a little bit of a ding right here. Not sure quite what happened, but uh, it's uh, possible that could be even be pulled out. Nice fit and finish here as far as our vinyl top. Really nice vinyl top and it's super soft. I'm guessing the vinyl tops definitely had been replaced before, probably during the paint job of it. Uh, back bumper is original. You can see in the corner of it right here, it's got just a little bit of a peel in the chrome, but tail lights are gorgeous. Dual exhaust sounds good. I love the uh, set of tires and wheels on this. Nice old school Kreger SS's with uh, some 275s, I'm guessing. Yep, 275, 60s. Now, when we go ahead and open up the door jam, um, door jam paint's not quite as nice as the outside of the paint, um, but not bad at all. Um, corner of the door is 100% rust free right here. Also, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, I wanna mention that the floor pans are awesome as well. It was factory undercoat, but after we power washed it and stuff, some of that little bit of undercoat came off and you can see the, all the bare metal of the original floors, which is in fantastic shape. Awesome. A couple little surface rust spots and all this is guys, is just the paint right here is just chipped off. It's not like it's rusting out or nothing like that. Just bare so, metal. Yeah, just bare metal. You're gonna have that when you got bare metal. Um, looks to me like whoever painted this before, when they did paint it, looks like they must have took um, this car to bare metal. Otherwise, we'd have some primer and stuff here. So, looks like they just uh, took it to bare metal, repainted it, and that's why we got a few chips. Um, rubbers and stuff are all in good shape. Roof rail rubber's nice. The dash pad, looks like there is a crack. Right here, there is a crack right here. The dash cap. 
far as uh, starts up really nice. AM FM radio. It's like it doesn't work, but it's uh, all functional. Moves. Hot gas gauge works, temperature gauge works. It's got uh, 118,155 miles on the odometer. Camp gauge works. Horn does not work. Here's a, oh, here's a little touch up paint. Touch that up ourselves, D. I didn't even know they had that. Inside the glove box is beautiful, so is uh, the, the door there. Dome light works. Seats are in great shape. Um, carpet looks to be original very possibly could it be original it's uh, faded there in the center um, back seats gorgeous very nice door panels are nice headliner is in excellent shape it does have the overhead seat belts and the lap belts and they're retractable door shut good trunk lid lines up really nicely here in the back all the way to the front uh, no bubbles or blisters around that back window that's all nice and clean as well like we want to see what do you think, D? You got anything else to point out? It's a nice straight car. It's a good car. Out in the sun, I mean, this, <laughs> it's uh, jaw dropping, isn't it? That is. And you know what else? It's got air. I mean, how important is that? Big block muscle car with air. Pretty cool. And an awesome color. Looks like our lines are all really nice here as well. Door handle's beautiful. Corner of the door is perfect. Um, door panel is original here. You can just tell it's just got just a little bit, it's been cleaned so many times, it's just got just a little bit of a fade on the top. It's got remote mirror. Window cranks are still nice. Seats, we cleaned the heck out of them. Um, they really cleaned up nice and they're in great shape as well, so. I said the horn doesn't work, but it does have a horn on it, and it does work. We'll see if the air works. Not quite sure if it does or not, but the fan definitely does. The fan works on low and medium, but not on high. Also the end of the dome light works here. Dome light up top and the under dash light works. Nice. I mentioned that the, uh, see if the air works. I don't think it's cold yet, but the AC is 100% complete, but it doesn't seem like it's getting cold yet. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Two, there we go, now all the speeds are working. Nice. This is switch probably just a little bit funky. Okay, sounds like the air needs to probably be charged. Turn signal on the hood, the right side works. I'm gonna get that for our yeah. people. Yeah. And the left side sure doesn't. Just the right side. Probably needs a bulb or little tiny bulbs that you pick up in there. Think there's any miss in this one when it's coming down the road. No, the brakes are good too. Um, really nice pedal all the way to the top, no pull left or right. The power brakes are awesome. Sounds good. One other thing I want to mention, just look at the plastic and it all looks original, Dalton, but check out all the plastic in the interior. Jay did a hell of a job cleaning it all up, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks nice. Those are some big ass tires to try to spin. Yeah, they are. 400 sounds nice it enough. It does, it picks up good speed. Windows go up easy. Yeah, it picks up really good speed. Uh, 65 mile an hour down the road, it goes down the road really nice. Kick downwards. 
Yeah. Really cool Mopar, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I'm impressed by it. Too bad the AM FM radio didn't work, but at least it's still in there. No one butchered it with something else, right? Yeah, exactly. See that quite often. Yeah. Nice little car. Yeah, great car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Put the link down in the comment section of this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to sub, and we'll see you next time.